Thumbnail. Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. This is Tim Dow for Living with MS in Tenerife. I'm, uh, I'm recording a new uncut version of the podcast. The podcast will be going up later. This is the uncut version that I upload to YouTube. If you're new here, I do two or three other things as well. I go live Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I do the podcast every day. And I also do things like drive arounds and walk arounds. Uh, the island of Tenerife, is that something you think you might like? Then uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. My name's Tim Dowd. And uh, glad to have you with us. If you're a regular, welcome back. Okay, so we're going to start off. I've got everything set up. Um, you've got a wide view today. It's quite nice. Beautiful blue skies, wispy clouds. But we'll get to that in a minute. And let's see what we can do here. Okay, so you get ready. Record, record, record. Sound rolling. Okay. So. That's my uh, Faulty Towers moment for today. Are you ready? Maybe a bit, maybe not as loud. Huh? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Aftcast Tenerife Afternoons. I'm your host, Tim Dowd. On today's show, we've got a little bit of the weather. We're going to do the latest in the COVID saga. We're going to nip over to Janet Anscombe's website to see what the headlines are there. And we're going to go over to the government website as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe or download the podcast wherever you're listening from. Or join us on YouTube at youtube.com slash LWMST. Have a great day and enjoy the show. So we're going to go into the weather now. I've got like three pictures to show you. And I get that from a weather app on my iPad. It's really good. And uh, if you like it, you can download it. It's free, but you only get like three days worth of weather. If you pay a, a yearly like, amount, I don't know how much it is, $10 or something, then you get 14-day forecasts. They're always wrong, but at least you get to, to look at them. Here we go. So... Well, there's going to be plenty of weather in the next few days, as they say. The weather's been quite good, actually. It's, uh, it's been wispy clouds and blue skies. Last weekend was a little bit on the cloudy side. But it's quite good now, and they are promising sun most of the week. They promised sun yesterday all week, but now it's tomorrow clouds. I don't understand that. If you don't like the weather here in Tenerife, then you wait five minutes. But the temperatures here on the south coast are around the low 20s, a lot more in the sun, obviously. Um, but you will burn still, uh, so you need your 50 factor. So if you're joining us on YouTube, you can see the satellite picture there. We've got like a little, little depression there up to the northwest of us and a sort of a band of cloud to the south of us. But we're in beautiful blue skies. And if you're on YouTube, you can now see the isobars of the whole of the Atlantic. That big high has gone over to the west and it's been taken over by a little low uh, just above us there, but nothing to worry about, I don't think. And for those of you watching on YouTube, if you can see behind me the blue skies, wispy clouds, and a fantastic day on the beach. That was your weather for today. It is Tuesday, the 30th of March, 2021. I forgot to say that, didn't I, at the beginning? 
I'll, uh, I'll cut that in. You ready? Today's Tuesday, the 30th of March, 2021. And then with the magic of that cut, that will go at the beginning in the podcast. I suppose if you're watching this on YouTube, you don't really go and listen to the podcast, do you? So uh, those of you listening, um, please get in touch with me. Go to timothydowd.com and uh, send me an email and tell me where you're listening from because that will be really interesting. i got about 60 people listening, but I get thousands of people watching. So uh, if you're a podcasty type person and you want to get in touch, just go to timothydowd.com and send me a message. Alternatively, you can actually leave a recorded message at the um, anchor.fm website where you can just leave me a message there and then. And if you want to leave me a message and have it appear on the podcast, you can ask me a question. I'll try my best to answer it. Okay, so that was for you guys on uh, on YouTube as well. So what's what's next? We've done the weather. Oh, I know what we do now. Oh, my golly gosh. Cubid. Cubid. COVID-19 update. Well, this is COVID for yesterday, the 29th of March at 2 p.m. For the whole of the Canary Islands, we have 4,063 active cases at the moment. Let's zoom into Tenerife there. And Tenerife has got active cases 2,140. That's split up into the municipalities, just over a thousand at Santa Cruz, just under 500 La Laguna, Arona at 126, leading the way in the south, Adeji just above 100, and Granadilla de Abona just below. The rest are under 50. So let's have a look at the seven day average here. Well, it's going in the right direction. Yesterday was 67, today's 65. So that's good. So that is your COVID for today, ladles and jelly spoons. I like that little bit of the bath. Okay, so uh, we're going to go to Janet. Now, I had a quick look at Janet's, and she's only got one headline there. So what I did is I decided to read out one of her standard um, things that she's put on there, how to get around red tape. And today we're going to talk about the Ehik versus Gihik. I've prepared that as already pre-thinged, pre-recorded. So I'll show you that now. Let me just... Uh, do the intro. So let's go over now to JanetAnscombe.com and see what she's got there on offer. So this uh, was only one headline today, so I decided to use uh, the time to read the red tape using the GHIC the new EHIC in Spain, so GIHIC versus EHIC. Now that the UK has left the EU, EHICs have been replaced by the new UK GIHIC. Those with an EHIC may continue to use it until it's out of date. The new GIHIC is like the EHIC, it is not a replacement for travel insurance and it's only for those who need medical attention during a temporary visit outside of their home countries. It is to be used either as an emergency or for repeat or sudden treatment required for a condition that cannot wait until the patient returns home. It's also only for UK residents, not those who are legally resident in Spain, who must either be registered with the state doctor or have private medical insurance or visit doctors privately. Please see here for further information on the new GIHIC and she left, leaves a link. Those living in Spain with a UK EHIC because they have registered S1 need a new EHIC to cover the continued after the 1st of the 1st 21. Please see the 10th of November updates of the Brexit post here, and she leaves a link to that one, and legal residents in Spain who don't have an S1 should apply for a Spanish European health insurance card, a Tarjeta Sanitaria Europea. 
There is also further information at www.healthcareinspain.eu. Well, that was, uh, that was the pre-recorded part. Now we'll nip over to the actual headline here. And the headline she's got in today is an update of her Canary Cast, which is promoting the Canary Cast podcast that she does together with Cleo O'Flynn. Those of you who watch Balcony Banter know Cleo very well. And it says, today's Canary Cast from Cleo and myself is here. And she leaves a link there. Uh, quite a serious one, considering uh, uh, looking at the rules and regulations as they are now and over Easter. And also thinking about Easter as a time of great meaning and emotion here in Spain and especially right now so if you want to go ahead and enjoy that nip over to your preferred podcast uh, supplier so you can get it on Apple Podcasts Google Podcasts Spotify I think they do Spotify as well and obviously on Anchor FM if you're going over to Anchor FM and you look for Canary Cast if you see Cleo's name you've got the right one the easiest way to do it, though, is to go to janetanscombe.com and uh, there you can go and link to that there. Thank you, Janet, for everything you do. So at this moment in time, I usually nip over to the government website and what I did today is I took a screenshot. I actually took a screen um, video of it, uh, scrolling, so then I've got to go in and read it very small for you, very small. But it's a great website, and if you've got one of the modern browsers that does the translation for you, then that's really good. Uh, you can translate it to one of a few languages, uh, English being one of them, obviously, and then you can read about what people are talking about here that isn't necessarily to do with holidays and tourism. It's to do with uh, the island as it is, or the islands as they are, because it covers the whole, whole of the Canary Islands there. You might be interested to know what's going on, what's happening, and what other industries are here. Uh, like, we have a really large farming community, and that is probably the major uh, income for the islands, is the farming. Uh, as I said before, I think uh, tourism is around about 30% of GDP in Tenerife. And of that 30%, the UK takes the major share. Over 60% of that 30% is the UK. But we do have uh, other industries here that keep us going. And um, I think canary and potatoes and uh, bananas, uh, also lots of vegetables, so paprikas, uh, strawberries, because we're always in season. We're like the eternal spring island. So you can't get spring onions, though. We're at the island of eternal spring, and you can't get spring onions. There are a few uh, places that do them, but you can't just walk in a shop and get a bunch of spring onions. You can, actually, but they're massive. They're like real onions with a bit of green on them. Um, but you can't get the little tiny spring onions. That's sad. If anybody knows where to get one, if you're on the island, then uh, let me know. Okay, so let's go over to the government website. There was no sound on this one, so I've got to do this live. And I can't really see that much, so I've got to, I've got to just zoom straight in here. So, now let's go over to the government website to see what the headlines are there. Well, the government is leading with the Immigration Forum sends a unanimous message so that the Canary Islands do not live in a permanent humanitarian crisis. The follow-up headlines there are the health records 151 cases of COVID-19 in the last 24 hours and Rodriguez explores the maximum fit of the Metro Guagua in the European Reconstruction Fund. So we may be reconstructing the buses or even the, the, uh, the trains. Uh, Julio Perez highlights the unanimity and harmony that has taken place at the sectoral conference. And I can't read it now because it's moved on. But if you want to read any of those uh, headlines there, go to gobiernodicanarias.org slash noticias and use your fantastic browser that you're using to translate everything there to English. So that was the government website for today. I've just ordered the new hat cam 
Uh, it's going to be here in May, unfortunately, 5th of May, because we're on the island. And uh, I'm going to name it the Ali Ben, because uh, Ali Bennett sent me a donation towards it. So she was the first person to do that. And so it's going to be called the Ali Ben Hat Cam. And uh, it's the one that MacMaster's got. It's the better quality one. And it's also got the best tone as well. But I'm also getting a little lapel mic so that I can record the tone extra and then uh, put it all together in post. So I'm actually going to be doing, instead of doing the lazy driver rounds, I'm actually going to be start doing walk arounds because I need to get into my uh, Lederhosen by Christmas and it's not going the way I planned at the moment. So uh, anyway, that's, a, that's another thing. Let's go and finish off the podcast for those people listening on the go with not much time so they don't get all this chit-chat in the middle. It's like bang, 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 bang. So if you're interested in the podcast, you want to, uh, you don't have time to watch these all the time. I do uh, do them from Monday to Thursday now. And uh, Friday, I'm gonna uh, not going to do it because we go out on a Friday and then the weekend off. But Sunday afternoon, I get pretty bored. So I'll do one for Sunday, which usually encompasses the whole weekend, which isn't too bad. So I'd like to thank every one of you. In fact, I need the music to do this. I? I need the music. Put the music on. I like this music. It's called Small Town Bliss. <laughs> I'd like to thank each and every one of you today for listening or watching if you're on YouTube. I'd like to say we have a great following. So nip over to youtube.com slash LWMST if you're listening to the podcast. And if you're podcasting, if you're YouTubing, I mean, nip over to the podcast and listen to it there. We do actually have a Facebook page at LWMST. And we do pictures on Instagram, living with MS Tenerife. We go live Monday, Wednesday, Friday on YouTube at 5.55. And you can go over to timothydow.com, send me a message, learn how to sponsor the channel, or do whatever you want. See ya. That was the end of the podcast. And this is the bit I like. But you, I've got to do it right at the end, and I can't waffle afterwards, so I'm waffling now. Uh, I've got this AB thing uh, when I show the picture and it says go and subscribe and stuff. But it's, um, let's see if this works. Dug -a -dug -a -dug 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 -dug. Oh, we're in Kaya Savaki today. So, are you ready? A, B, A, B. The uh, Google thinks you might like to see this one next. And if you click on our little wedding photograph there, then you'll take you to the website to find out how you can sponsor the channel. And if you're not already subscribed on YouTube, you can press that little circle button down there. See you in the next one. Bye. Zzz.